doing a little companion planting out here today. We uh, started some corn right here about a week ago. It's doing pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is put just a uh, few squash seeds in, a few pumpkin seeds in uh, at the base of my corn on these rows all the way down. And what that's actually gonna do for me is as these uh, squash plants grow up, they're gonna help with weed suppression in the garden. I'm also gonna put some beans in here with the corn as well. And the beans will climb up the corn stalks and they'll also provide some nutrients to the soil. So I'm getting kind of a little bit of weed suppression and I'll get some nutrients with the corn and the corn stalks will help those beans grow up. So I've got this, this system down here that I think it's going to perform pretty well. So I have different types of squash that I'll put in the ground and I could thin these out later. I tend to kind of overseed things when I plant and my wife is very precise with her planting, but I guess that's just the difference between her gardening style and my gardening style. So this tool right here that I'm using is called a Hori Hori knife. It's designed off of a Japanese gardening knife. And um, this is probably the best tool that I have in our garden. Uh, I, I bought this one, this is a bare bones, uh, ultimate Hori Hori knife. And like you, uh, my initial thought when I saw this was, you know, bare bones, overpriced, yuppie stuff stay away from it. Um, but I actually really, really love this tool. This is, uh, again, it's their ultimate uh, Hori Hori knife. It's got a pointier tip than the regular Hori Hori knives. It's got a saw on one side. It's got a blade on one side and it's real easy to sharpen. I carry with me this uh, Helco Work Bastard file and it's the best bastard that I have. It fits in your pocket. It does a really nice job filing. Works a lot better than my bastard from Lowe's. Uh, but you could easily sharpen the edge of this Tori Tori and you can use it to chop branches off things if you wanted to. It's kind of, it's one of those multi-tools that you never thought you would actually need until you work in an environment like this. So we've expanded our garden dramatically over the past year. And as we expanded, you know, we don't have the funds to just go out and buy a bunch of weed barrier, put it down and then buy a bunch of soil and buy a bunch of mulch and put it down. For mulch, we've been getting a lot of our mulch from the county. You can get a truckload of mulch, uh, two Kubota scoops for $5 each. That's $10 a truckload if you've got a long bed. Um, we've been getting a truckload of mulch for $10 each each week. So that's helped us out a lot. But um, soil will still cost you about $50 a truckload. And we would need a ton of soil out here to do the amount that we've been trying to expand. And so I got this Hori Hori knife because what, instead what we have done is we've kind of killed off the ground with tarps and stuff like that. And then we've tilled it up and we've started to create new garden beds. We're hoping that we don't have to till each year. The, the concept is, is that we build it up with mulch and organic matter and we start creating really nice strong garden beds. And I started this section last year, I've expanded it again. But one of the biggest problems you have in doing this is weeds. We've killed off a lot of the weeds, but one weed that just keeps coming back, and this is what led me to this Hori Hori knife, is we've got this super long grass. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Yeah, I'm gonna regret that later. So we've got this super long grass that grows up. And, it, and the thing is, is these actually go really deep into the soil. So, and it's got a big root down in the soil. And as we tilled up the ground, we broke up those roots and it created even more of them. And they'll grow up, it doesn't matter if it's six inches under, they'll find a way back up to the surface. And, it's, and when you try and pull them out, that's what happens is you just, you pull off the tops in a couple days, you're out here pulling it again. Um, so in order to get to those roots, I was like, I need a weed tool that I could go down, not disrupt the other plants in the garden bed 
to get these things out of there because otherwise I'm gonna be out here every day of the week and this is a lot of space. I mean, our expansion, well, I'll have to measure it out, but it's at least 40 by 80 feet with a lot of different rows of plants growing. So that would be a lot of weeding just in the expansion of our garden. And then you have normal weeds that pop up in the rest of the garden. So I got this thing and I looked at a lot of them online and I really liked the Bare Bones Ultimate Design. And that's why I bought it is because I like the design. It is pretty nice quality. I don't quite understand the oak handle. I like hickory, American hickory handles, but um, it is a nice, you know, wood handle. The, the thing about it is our soil is hard, it's rocky. A lot of the hoi hoi knives that I've seen have, uh, you know, kind of a straight handle that then goes down into the blade. While when I'm going down into the soil and I hit a rock or anything, my hand's gonna slip and go down that blade. Um, it, so this hoi hoi knife, if you look at it, it's got a nice swelling of the handle down here and you're not gonna, you're not gonna slip past that part of the handle. The other thing I like about this Hori Hori is it's got a really nice heavy steel uh, uh, bottom of the handle here. The, it's a full flange. The steel goes all the way through. This thing here with some of the clay soils we have, they harden into like a rock type material. And uh, it's funny, I was out here breaking them up with my hand when we were planting this corn. My son thought I was like, you know, He-Man or something. It made me feel cool. This thing here, you can just kind of take that. Here we go. It's a nice kind of, this is not as hard as the clay. This is just some loamy soil, but boom. If that was clay, you might have to hit a little harder, but you could break that up and work it back into the soil. Uh, it's just really nice. I like that design. It also has a bottle opener on there for those of you who like to have a beer while you're working outside. That's not why I bought it. The craftsmanship is, you know, what you would typically expect out of a company like Bare Bones. It's got some decent steel, but, um, you know, I think the craftsmanship could be a little bit better. I, I was, you know, for the, for the price point, I guess for the price point though, you, you actually do get a really nice tool compared to its competitors. But that's a lot of the reasons why I went with this one is that it's got a pointier tip, so it's able to get down to that harder soil faster. Um, it does have the blade, it does have the saw blade, it has um, the bottle opener, like I said, for those of you who like a beer, and it's got this back. It also has a measuring tool here, so you know how deep your seeds are going. Um, each one of these notches is an inch. So one, two, three, four, five, six inches. But I could dig into the soil a good six inches with this thing to get the root ball of those pesky uh, pieces of grass that come up all over the freaking garden. And uh, the, of the rows that I've cleared, uh, they've stayed pretty clear, so it's working. This tool has been a lifesaver. It's also a really nice, just because of the weight of it and um, you know, it's versatility. I, I like the fact that when I dig rows to put seeds in, I could just scrape a row and then I go in and ch -ch 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 cover it all up. It makes me feel like a, uh, a Japanese ninja. You could be a garden ninja. I think there's actually a YouTube channel called Garden Ninja. Now just to clarify, Bare Bones did not ask me to do this review. Bare Bones doesn't even know I exist. Bare Bones is a company in Salt Lake City, Utah, and most of their stuff, like everything else that's uh, coming from an American company, is made in China or Taiwan. The craftsmanship of this for the price that you pay, I guess is, is definitely worth the money. It's probably my favorite gardening tool right now. I mean, this thing just pulverizes weeds, gets them out. They don't come back that easily. And that saves me a lot of time and it makes me feel very manly when I'm out in the garden. Um, it just, you know, I feel like if somebody wanted to come for my food. So anyway, I thought I'd just share this little tip with you because most of us this year have had to figure out how to grow more food and you'd be better off spending your money on watering systems, getting water out to these plants than trying to figure out ways of you know, putting cardboard over the whole section. I, I mean, I'll admit 
the sections of our garden where we've brought in cardboard, we've brought in weed barrier, and we've put down mulch, and we've put down soil. Those are so much easier, but when you just simply have to expand and you can't possibly spend that much money on infrastructure, this is a great way of doing it. Um, you'll also notice that there's a lot of kind of like the sawdust material that's uh, over my seeds. After I go through weed an area and seed it, I will generally come back with whatever I've you know, gotten out of the coop that day. We have to ch change out the bedding for our, our baby ducks on a daily basis. So I've got several rows with some stuff that came out of their, their little space. When we clean out the chicken coop, we'll just bring wheelbarrows of this stuff over here. And the pine shavings help retain some moisture in the soil for the seed germination, very important aspect. And then uh, obviously the poop and stuff creates, adds some, some nutrients to the soil since a lot of the soil that I'm digging in here and growing in um, what used to be just a bunch of filler dirt underneath some chicken houses. Anyway, I hope some of those ideas help you out with something this year. Um, companion planting is, like I said, it's a great way to, you know, continue to add nutrients. Uh, the beans that I'm gonna put in as these corn stalks get a little bigger will help provide nitrogen to the soil. And again, melons and uh, pumpkins and squashes, they, they tend to grow these giant leaves, shade a lot of the ground. They'll help keep the moisture down in the ground, but they'll also um, suppress a lot of weeds. And if you have a good healthy mix of growing plants after you've weeded it properly and you've gotten those roots out, get those roots out, you should have a, a garden that can self-maintain itself through most of the season without you having to come in and pull weeds every single day.